Hi, I'm Jim Rail. Let's talk about transformational coaching tips. Let's talk about how to help the leader, coach the leader to their game plan, developing action steps. This is the W of our GROW game plan. Goal, reality, options, will. What will you do? How would you like to proceed, in other words? Now, it's at this point that we're moving from options to actions from creativity to responsibility. We're closing the loop. We started with a goal for a conversation. Now we're going to actually, uh, the leader's going to choose some action steps that will take them the next steps forward on, on accomplishing that goal. And so it, as you uh, have come to the end of your options, again, you stop and celebrate. Look at all the options we have. Then you're going to ask a crucial question. How would you like to proceed? Which of these options will be the, the best one to help us move forward. And you'll find almost invariably that the leader will choose a great option to move themselves forward. Now, occasionally I get people, especially people that, uh, that have a hard time trusting other people, will say, yeah but, yeah, but what if they choose something that's not a good option? What if I know it's the wrong thing that they're going to do? First of all, you'll find out that doesn't happen very often. You've got to trust that God is at work in people and God is giving them good, good guidance. But if occasionally they come up with an action step and you just in your spirit, you feel like that's not going to work out well for them, then rather than saying to them, that's a bad idea, I don't think that'll work, just say, okay, so let's just talk a little bit about that. Let's coach ourselves through some of the implications if we were to take that action step. Quite often as you ask them questions, they'll, they'll come to the realization where they'll say, you know, I'm not sure that's the best one to choose at this point. I say, okay, so which one do you think would be a better option for us? And they'll choose one. And as, they, as they, uh, they answer the question, what will you do or how would you like to proceed, there's a whole bunch of good, what I call good W questions that help them clarify their action steps. So here's some of them. We started with, what option do you choose? Then we asked questions like, what steps do you need to take? So we're going to sequentially lay out what needs to be done. Where does this fit into your master plan? They're looking at specific action steps, incremental steps forward, but it fits into a bigger picture. So you say, where does this fit into your master plan? Who needs to know? There's other people that are, are essential to make this happen, so who am I going to communicate with? When will you begin and when will you complete this? If it doesn't get on the calendar, it's probably not going to get done. And so making sure that they have identified when it's going to happen is essential. Ask the question, what resources will you need? Time, energy, money, other things. And then who needs to do what to help you accomplish this? Because we always want the leader to be thinking team as they, as they walk through these issues. If, you, if we as a coach, our goal is to leave the ball in the leader's hands. Our goal is to make sure they're taking responsibility for these action steps. It's their game plan, not yours. And we want to make sure that they are also thinking about how they're going to do this as a team, with a team of people. So coming back around, you want to make sure that you help them develop what we call SMART goals. Now SMART is an acronym and it stands for these things. Specific, they say, well, I need to do thus and so. Okay, so specifically help them identify what they're going to do. I need to talk to somebody about this. Specifically, who will you talk to? Specific, measurable. They say, well, we need to do a better job at thus and so. Say, okay, so what, what are some measurable results that will let us know that we're accomplishing our action steps? S specific, measurable, attainable, which means that they might come up with some big thing that they're going to do. Our job as a coach is to make sure that they can do it step by step in an incremental, attainable steps forward. So smart, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant means it fits into their, their master plan, their big picture. If it doesn't, or if it's out of sequence, this is a good time for them to identify that. And then the T is it's time bound. They choose a time when they're going to do this, when they're going to start it, when they're going to finish. And like I said earlier, it's, if it's not on the calendar, it's probably not going to get done. After they've listed their game plan, their action steps, read them back to the leader you're coaching. So here's what you've said you're going to do. And then just list them out. You're going to talk to so-and-so by this date about these issues. And, and by the time, usually there's going to be three, four, five action steps in a coaching conversation. And that will carry them forward for the next week or two or three until the next time that you meet together. 
Take time to tell them a good, they've done a good job, celebrate them. But then as you close the coaching conversation, ask these questions. What was most helpful for you today? It allows them to debrief with you instantly about the things that mattered most for, out of that conversation. And don't be surprised if what was mattered most to them is not what you thought was the most important part of the conversation. What was most helpful for you today? Then what can we pray about? Because we want to make sure we seal everything with intercession. And finally, when will we meet next? So you, before you leave that coaching visit, you're putting the next one on the calendar. That's actually the last action step of your coaching visit. So as we serve the, the leader we're coaching with this last W of, a, of the coaching game plan, and they've come up with, a, with the action steps, a game plan of their own that they've discovered, that they have taken responsibility for, that they've made smart goals for, it's a very powerful thing to, to not only inspire hope, but to impart to them a sense that God is at work in them and that they can do it. We as coaches have the opportunity to speak that belief into their life. And so as you close with the leader, encourage them forward, trust that the Holy Spirit's at work in them and through them. That's, that for us is the great payoff of all great coaches.